Hey guys, I felt really called to talking about bad days to blissful days. Not just like bad days to good days or like great days. Like I desire to have a life with like fantastic, joyful, exuberant, joyous, blissful, euphoric, amazing, fucking awesome days. So I wanted to share that like yesterday I had a quote bad day during some parts of my day. Um, I was feeling stressed and worried that I didn't have an official place to stay next Tuesday and Wednesday when I get to California because I decided last minute that I was going to stay for the whole like three week thing and actually go down like officially early um, for all the awesome events and stuff beforehand. So I didn't have a place, like I didn't have my hotel booked for Tuesday or Wednesday night. So I was just like, okay, <laughs> this is gonna be a thing. And I literally like stayed up super late, like scrolling the like Facebook ULP, or not ULP, uh, UPW uh, LA like Facebook group of everyone who's going to be like, who's still looking for roommates, who just needs those two days that they're going down early for, cause the event starts on Thursday and I had my hotel like Thursday to Monday kind of thing. And then I have my like Airbnb for the two weeks after uh, in Southern California, which I'm super, super excited for, grateful for. So I was like in my head about it and was like, the more I was scrolling and wasn't really finding awesome deals because I was looking at Airbnbs and I was looking at hotels and hotels downtown LA are really expensive when you're looking at it last minute. Like the hotel that I'm staying at for the four days is like $600 a night US and in Canada it's like add another 30% to that for like the conversion rate. <laughs> it's awesome for my US clients. When my US clients are like, I get like a 30% discount just from living in the US because of the exchange right now, they get super excited. <laughs> I get excited that I get paid in US dollars sometimes, but like converting it to like that was gonna be like, okay. So I could reserve a hotel room for two nights for like $1,700 Canadian. And I'm like, holy motherfuck. <laughs> for two nights, okay. So like I was looking in the area, I was looking at like the Airbnbs that were like still kind of-ish close and stuff. And then I'd get further into my research and like some of the reviews were like, this is a bait and switch, like it's not safe. Definitely go, don't go here if you're a single woman. There's like homeless people outside and I felt super sketchy and like unsafe and had to pay like tons of money to get to a last minute hotel. And some hotels were sold out and like all these things. And it's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The ego fear of like, you're fucking free flowing. Look at how it fucks up. See, you can't be like super feminine energy free flowing all the time. It gets bad sometimes. So I literally had to do work on that and be like, no, like I am trusting that I am literally a part of this oneness energy and that I am like always watched over and protected and kept safe and that the best, most highest and best good thing for me and the people around me will always happen and had to like keep reiterating that in myself. But then I was like, getting like slightly panicked that like certain things weren't lining up amazingly. And I'm like, why can't this just be like ease and flow and align super awesome? Like, anyway, so I was definitely getting in my head about it and that didn't feel good. <laughs> and there was also like Mercury retrograde and energy happening and like the portal opened and stuff yesterday. So like mid afternoon, I all of a sudden felt like dizzy and I was like, Ooh, this doesn't feel good. So I looked up in my like Louise Hay book, like what dizziness means. And <laughs> it's like flighty and scattered and like things like that. And I'm like, okay, I need to do some healing work on this. So I did that. And then I had a Reiki session and I felt so much better after that. And like I meditated and was like, okay, when I feel like this, I know it's not good. What can I do to make myself feel better? Did those action steps and I was feeling better. Um, and then like later last night, I like checked into like my messages again and checked into the group again and was like spending hours in the like masculine energy of like, I need to make this work. I need to like reach out to all these people. I need to like do all these things. And it was like very output energy of like, I need to like fix it. I need to do things like, it wasn't always inspired action. It was more like, I need to make these puzzle pieces fit. Like, I don't understand why I was called to do this. If it's not just like gonna like fit and work, come on creator, come on universe, come on God, like come on spirit, let's make it work. So it was very interesting to like have that happen. And like when my energy is like that, then I was like, oh my God. And like my package that's supposed to get here on the weekend, like I haven't, like, I don't think that I've gotten an email notification that it's been processed yet. And if it hasn't been processed, is it gonna like arrive before I leave early Tuesday morning? The person that I was on the phone with said that it should get here in time. And I was just like 
in my head and went, okay, <laughs> I have so many tools here. I'm not in control of that. Like I needed, I need to like for three weeks, I need my essential oils and like multivitamins and vitamin C and all my immune boosting awesomeness and stuff like that so that I can stay healthy for my entire journey. Cause like Tony Robbins events, everyone's like crying and hugging and high-fiving and stuff like that. So like there can be germs, but I needed to like stay healthy. So it was very interesting to like see some of the thoughts come in and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like this isn't a good thought. I'm not in control of it. Like if I had, like I literally called um, to make sure that I like had done everything to get it like priority shipping, all the things like super awesome. And they were like, yep, it should get there by Friday, ideally Friday, probably Saturday, very, very latest Monday. And I'm like, okay, cause like I leave first thing Tuesday morning. So I need that. Um, and that came today because I like shifted and I'm so grateful. Like it came fucking early. So like everything has been super in alignment today. But yeah, I guess last night I was like in that fear-based mindset of like, I should check, like I should check to see if it's processed. I should check if it is processed, where it is in the shipping. Like those things came in my head and I'm like, I'm not in control of that. I'm trusting and I'm going to stay in that surrendered state and not do that. It didn't feel inspired action. It felt super fear-based to like go in and like check those things. So I'm grateful I didn't do that. But I was like <laughs> stress eating and ate an entire bag of veggie straws. <laughs> and I told a friend of mine, I'm like, okay, like I don't like to speak bad things into my reality or into my existence. Like, especially I believe that everything that we think and say creates our reality. And I, at the beginning of my journey, read tons of Joel Osteen books and he's all about like, getting better and better every day in every way and having a really positive mindset. And like, sometimes he'd have fears, but he wouldn't speak them into his reality. So it was very interesting for me to be like, okay, this is happening, but I'm like, okay, this is like really what's happening right now. I'll tell it to one person. It'll be fine. So I told a friend of mine, I'm like, I'm actually like stressed and worried right now. I'm like, I just ate an entire bag of veggie straws. Like I'm aware of what's happening right now. And he was like, Oh no. He's like, well, I'm kind of worried for you too. He's like, I don't want you to be like homeless in LA. And I'm like, I'm not going to be homeless in LA. That'll be fine. Like, it's just, I don't want to pay almost $2,000 for two nights. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was interesting. Cause he's like, you should be blissful. Like I can choose, like I can choose to be blissful. And I'm like, fuck yes. So I'm like, okay, I'm turning off all the things. And I literally like turned up super loud music on my favorite playlist and like <laughs> jumped up and down and danced around uh, my house and I went to my vision board and I'm like all these things are for me like this is me stepping into it it feels super in alignment when I'm in that place of centeredness and being like this life like is for me like there's a part of my ego that's still liking to say who the fuck are you to take three weeks in California and like, I'm like, I'm Laura 10.0. Like I'm fucking ready for these things, but the ego and the gremlins will sometimes like slide in, which isn't super fun. So last night I had to do all of my self care things. I'm like, okay, I'm like, I have the tools. I'm like, thank you for the reminder and the advice to be blissful and just choose to be blissful because I chose to do that. And since last night, everything's been awesome. And I'm like, thank you, God, thank you so much. Because literally like, if I had stayed in that energy, things wouldn't have flowed as awesome as they did today. Like I had awesome calls and like when I woke up, there was people in my inbox who were like super excited to like share my hotel and all these things. And now I have a place um, for the two days. And like, I did reserve the hotel. Like I was like, okay, I'll officially reserve a hotel for $1,700 for two nights. Just so that I can be like, that's a like, super soft cushion of like worst case scenario i will have some place to stay in la it'll be fine because that was even saying like close to selling out and stuff like that because like thirteen thousand people are going to this <laughs> upwla anyway so i'm super super excited that because i shifted into that beautiful state into like joyful blissful positive energy and into that trusting energy of like i'm going to just choose to move in inspired action and i'm going to do things that feel super good and I did that today and things went super awesome. I got my package three days early and I'm super excited for that. So any of my Young Living people, I literally just made a video um, on my Laura McPhee YL independent distributor um, 
like page about all the things that I got super excited for because I got like a fuck ton of the stuff for free. Like I got $260 worth of like product for free because I had um, my like essential rewards, cash back points and stuff like that. So any of my young living people who are going to like big events and stuff, non-negotiables for me traveling is thieves. I have all this out and I just felt really called to share. Master formula, it's my multivitamin, vitamin C. So I'm running low on that and I've been loving it. Probiotics for your body. And also super grateful that this came in because I like feeling super fresh. It's like baby wipes <laughs> and it's like super high quality. So I like feeling fresh after like going to the gym and stuff or like dancing hardcore and sweating a little bit just to like freshen up. Cause yeah, I don't wear makeup. So I like having clean skin. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like all over the place, but you can literally choose to be in a more blissful state. You can choose to have a really good day and you can also become more aware and bring more awareness to things that you do when you get stressed out. So I'm aware that I numb out with TV. So if I'm like, oh, I've watched two or three episodes of something and it's not just to like, oh my gosh, this is an awesome show and I'm getting caught on my, on my awesome show. And it's like, I need to like find something to watch right now to like numb out <laughs> so that I don't have to like deal with the stuff over here so that I can procrastinate longer. Like that's a thing where I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm numbing out or I'm going to the pantry just for like emotional eating or I ate a whole fucking bag of veggie straws. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, well that's something that's happened. I'm going to choose to be gentle with myself and just like, I did a little bit more exercise today because I'm like, okay, like I want to do good things for my body and like keep it in a good positive thing. And I did it in a loving way. Like I got just like all these intuitive hits today of like relaxing and letting things happen and surrender, which makes sense because when I'm in my feminine energy and in that bliss and flowing with the universe and in alignment with things, things just work out. So I did spend a lot more time on me today and I got my hair done before I went away and like just trimmed and but I love it and went to the gym and just kind of took time like doing some cardio and lots of stretching and like really like leaned into stretching and I had the entire gym to myself so I actually kind of danced during some awesome songs in the gym which was really fun because I went like the women's only area so I had the whole private gym to myself and I felt really special. And I like went on the massage chair for an extra long time because like it wasn't busy and there was no one around, which is super fun. Um, yeah, going to the gym midday is super fun. And yeah, literally everything else has been falling into place. And I'm really, really grateful for that. And know for a fucking fact that if I had stayed in that bad energy yesterday, that all this wouldn't have happened. So I encourage you to like write down and get really clear on what your triggers are, what creates those bad days for you. Um, and what you can be mindful of, of awareness of like what you reach for. So if you reached for food or a certain substance or negative behaviors in any way, then you can like write those down and be like, okay, I'm bringing awareness to that. So that if, if, and when these things show up, I have positive things that you can do. So I always encourage my clients to have like a self care list. So things that'll make you a little bit happier and to have kind of like two sides of it. So that when you're starting your journey, you can have literally like a limited time frame on the things that will make you feel a little bit better in the moment. So if you're like exhausted or run down or you like don't feel good, then you can be like, okay, instead of having like a whole bottle of wine, I'll have a glass of wine. Or instead of like having a whole bag of veggie straws, I'll like portion out some veggie straws and then like make dinner and make myself feel better. So you can have those things that you know that you're going to do. Like I'll watch two hours of TV, not 12 hours of TV, like <laughs> those kind of things. So that you can be like, okay, to feel a little bit better in the moment, I'm going to do these things. And then when you feel that a little bit better, you can flip it to the other side and be like, okay, these are the awesome things I can do. So you can do self care that doesn't cost any money and doesn't need anyone else and have that at like the top of your list. And then I have other things on your list that like feed your soul and make you feel really good. So you can have things that are self care, like turning on music full blast and dancing and singing at the top of your lungs and like going in the mirror and smiling and saying awesome things to yourself and your affirmations or going in front of your vision board and being like, all of this is for me. This is what I'm doing this work for. It's going to be worth it on the other side. Um, baths, having really nourishing, good food, like meal prepping some stuff, like whatever you need to do in the moment that makes you feel physically better. That's really supportive. And then like reaching out to a friend, 
going outside, going for a walk, meditating, moving your body, um, all kinds of like things. I'm like, I'm going on and on about all the stuff. So like you guys know what self care is. You know what the things are that will make you feel better. So like you can book a Reiki appointment or a massage or all those things or like getting your nails done or whatever you feel really good about doing so that you can have more joy in the moment. So those like two sides of the paper are really beneficial. I also have in my pantry a bright pink post-it note of things that are in my fridge that would be healthier for me to have so that I can like lovingly be like, Laura, would you rather have a smoothie right now? Would you rather have those? Um, like I have like unshelled almonds. Like that was the thing that we did at Life and Wealth Mastery last year that they would like soak almonds so that they're more nutrient good and stuff and it's better for your body. Anyway, so I soak almonds and then like pop them out of the shells and stuff. So I have those in the fridge and like bananas or like all kinds of things. Better things for me to have than the like processed stuff that's in my pantry. Anyway, so those are all kinds of things that you guys can do to shift from bad days to blissful days or just better days or good days for whatever you're at on your journey right now. And I encourage you guys to choose that, to like put affirmations up all over the place. I love having like post-it notes everywhere to remind me of good things. And I also love surrounding myself with really awesome people who will, when I'm feeling stressed or bad or whatever, they can be like, here's how you can feel better in the moment. This is what you could do. This is your truth. Like that reflect back to me how I can be more blissful and awesome and amazing in my life. And hey everyone who's popping on live. Uh, hi Deb and Chris. And Tracy and Sandra and Aaron and Rebecca and Doug and Daniel and Danny and Leanne and Tanya and Misty, all kinds of people popping on, uh, and Elizabeth and Jeanne and Melanie and Byron. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day, a super blissful, wonderful, amazing day, and that this helps make your days a little bit better in the future. So if someone in your life needs this message, I encourage you to tag them or share it so that the people in your life can have more blissful days. And I'm sending you guys all so much love and light. Bye.